the Yotoyotohama Dwarfs. In the heart of the lush emerald Yotoyotohama forest, there existed a small secluded village. The villagers, simple and hard-working folk, lived in harmony with nature, their lives governed by the rhythm of the forest. However, lurking beneath the tranquil facade of the forest was a terrifying secret, the Yotoyotohama Dwarfs. These dwarfs, unlike the benevolent dwarves of fairy tales, were creatures of darkness and malice. They were said to possess the ability to transform into monstrous beasts, their bodies contorting into grotesque shapes, their eyes glowing with an infernal red light. Locals whispered tales of these fearsome creatures, their voices hushed with dread. They spoke of how the Yotoyotohama dwarfs would emerge from the depths of the forest under the cover of darkness, preying upon unsuspecting travellers and villagers alike. One fateful night, a young villager named Taro ventured into the forest, his heart filled with curiosity and a touch of recklessness. He had heard the stories of the Yotoyotohama dwarfs, but dismissed them as mere folklore, the ramblings of overactive imaginations. As Taro delved deeper into the forest, the air grew heavy with an unsettling silence. The usual symphony of chirping crickets and rustling leaves had been replaced by an eerie stillness. The trees, once welcoming and familiar, now seemed to loom ominously, their gnarled branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. Suddenly, a guttural growl shattered the silence. Taro froze, his blood running cold. From the shadows emerged a creature of unimaginable horror, a Yotoyotohama dwarf, its body twisted into a grotesque parody of human form, its eyes burning with an infernal red light. Taro's heart pounded in his chest as the monstrous beast lunged towards him. He instinctively raised his arms to protect himself, but it was too late. The Yotoyotohama dwarf's claws sank into his flesh, tearing through his clothes and drawing blood. Taro screamed in agony, his voice echoing through the silent forest. But there was no one to hear his cries, no one to come to his aid. He was alone, at the mercy of the Yotoyotohama dwarf. As the beast sank its fangs into Taro's neck, a strange transformation began to occur. Taro's body convulsed violently, his skin turning a deep, unnatural red. His eyes glowed with an infernal light, and his features twisted into a grotesque mockery of his former self. Taro had become one of the Yotoyotohama dwarfs, forever cursed to roam the forest, a creature of darkness and malice preying upon the unsuspecting. And so the legend of the Yotoyotohama dwarfs grew, their terrifying presence forever haunting the hearts of the villagers. The forest, once a haven of peace and tranquility, had become a place of terror, a reminder of the lurking darkness that could transform even the purest of souls into something monstrous.